Hi, it's Richie here. I hope you're having a great day. G'day viewers, in today's video, Spring Mount Raceway. Where is it? What events did I participate in 2019? Some pre-racing questions that I talked to via email to the general manager of Spring Mount. I put myself in the deep end. I got no racing experience. Bring one car? Nah, I'll just bring two. I put together some photos and videos, especially the ones with the good times, and some thoughts and some experiences that are worth a mention. Mount Raceway. Okay, let's start. Here I'm at the computer right now. Spring Mount Raceway. Where is Spring Mount Raceway? Well, I'll go to Google Maps. Look at that, I've got Google Maps open. So Spring Mount Raceway is west of Cairns. Cairns, well that's in north, far north Queensland, here in far north Queensland, Australia. So if I zoom back in, Google Maps, You'll see Cairns right here, Atherton Tablelands, Mareeba, Atherton, it's west, Spring Mount Raceway, 87 kilometres, it's an hour and a quarter, that's what, 55 miles west of, west of Cairns. So it's springmountraceway.com. So, the first thing I did was, the first thing I thought was most important for me was to become a member. Membership. Alright, let's click on that. So I became a member for 2019. There's my membership card right there. Membership card for the whole year. Help the raceway and also receive a nice shirt. And get a discount to all the events. What events did I do? Well, there, there you go. So there are all the events that were for 2019. The first race I completed was Race Your Mates Round One, Round Two, April, April Six, and then you had Round Three, Race Your Mates there. So they're the three rounds. That's where the three rounds I brought both cars to the raceway, and I also participated in the final round here with the uh, Nitro. Hot rods, nitro hot rods. Race your mates category was inside there, but the main event was the nitro hot rods. Spring Mount Raceway is another thing to consider. It is 550 meters above sea level, and that's roughly what 1,800 feet. So you've got to keep that in mind. Talk about Spring Mount. You've got to travel to the event. It is a big day. I leave pretty early. I get there, the gates open at 10 o'clock in the morning and to find a good spot, relax, sort out, sort out a few things, talk to a few other competitors. Uh, scrutineering shed opens up at 11.30 and I think it goes through to 1.30 and you've got to fill in 
some paperwork, sign in. And some paperwork here is some competitor audit declaration. This is basically self scrutineering of your vehicle. Put all your details on here. If it's modified, what class you're in, other details. At 1.45 p.m. roughly, it's a, all the competitors are called down to the starting line and the officials go through the program for the day. Points to consider is that the left-hand lane has got to give way and the returning lane, you've got to keep your speed limit down. You can also tune in to the local radio station 89 FM in which the uh, announcer does her commentary and any updates due the, during the day. Racing starts at 2 o'clock and it goes all the way through to 9, 9.30 at, at night. The racing continually goes non-stop all day except for accidents or injuries or repairs to the track but even stops for sunset glare because the track is facing west and also stops for rain. Okay now we talk about questions that are put forward to the general manager. What do I do if I bring two cars? What's the process there? So the email I got back was that you register online like everyone else does and you put in your details of one car and you pay a little bit extra. And you email the details of the second car. So the paperwork matches up at, at the scrutineering shed. Okay, so what happens? if I bring pit crew and if I put a passenger on the racetrack well my pit crew pays an entry fee at the gate and I pay a little bit extra to have a passenger who also has to sign in. Another question I had is about helmets. Now the answer I got back was as long as your helmet is less than 10 years old. So this helmet is had the standard AS1698. It was all right to go. My new helmet here is okay, no worries, but had the European standard. ECE22.05 is that what it says? Yes, that's right. So that was okay to have. So that was great. So I had a helmet for myself and a helmet for my passenger. You also need long sleeve shirt and long sleeve pants as part of the safety gear. Okay, photo time. As you can see, our spot and set up was right in front of the staging lanes. Everyone was lining up. It was pretty busy there at that time. And you can see Warwick here from Fat Photography is taking photos of everyone. I purchased this photo here and this photo from Warwick. Okay, it's video time. I'm in the AMG. Tom getting the cherry you will automatically give the win to Kirsty six can you see him yeah, yeah. running a 15.21 for the win Tom get the cherry on the tree there he ran a 30.5 but unfortunately will not take the win Richard back in his Mercedes AMG Richard, of course, running two cars here this weekend. He's got a very glorious black Magnum Commodore SSU.
Okay, this time it's the Magnum Ute. This is the best time I've made so far. Closing comments, the main aim was to go to the dragway and to come back home in one piece without any accidents as there's no insurance cover. I've gained a lot of experience and the biggest thing that I need to improve on is my reaction time. You have to go on the orange light. I had two red lights over the 50 times that I went down the runway during the year. Pushing your car to the limit, and it's legal, which was a lot of fun. As I didn't take it too seriously, but many other competitors did. Okay, I'm half a second off my expectations of where both cars should be from manufacturer's claims. Tires could make a difference. These tires are on large 20 inch rims. At this stage, I tried to warm up my tyres a few times but it had not worked for me. All I was thinking about was the cost of money going up in smoke. It's a good idea to wipe water off your car. So let's go to the video and you can see the marshals telling me to the reverse my car from the starting line. Her at every race meet just about, all the way from Cairns. Richard, however, this is his first time up at Spring Mount Raceway, looking for a legal way to test the legs on his two cars and find out what they can do. I intervene now as a commentary is now playing music. Okay, we are the first cars back after a local thunderstorm. You can see the marshals talking to me with towels in hand and to reverse and help water off my car. My fellow competitor had to do the same before racing could continue. Final experience worth a mention. It occurred on the last day of racing for the year. A photo of the staging lights looking at the two top white lights. What happens when the top light goes out as you are too far forward it causes a sense of uncertainty. In the video, I think I should reverse. Camera comes on, but I quickly recompose myself, ready to go. My fellow competitor has a red light due to the uncertainty as we go from the lights. So there you have it. I hope you are still with me at this point in time. This is the first time I've done vlogging and editing to YouTube. I am an amateur having a go in front of the camera instead of watching other YouTube creators. There is always room for improvement, better English presentation, flash editing, and trying to find good quality content. In the future, I have my cars and bikes and more adventures to come. My motto is to have fun and the freedom to do things. As my number plate says, enjoy it.
goodbye.